Hello friends, welcome to AKS Investment Sabka Fyada. Before watching this video, please listen my request message. Daily, I am putting so much efforts to develop video for this channel but I am not getting good response from your side as expected. Please please subscribe my channel and like video so that I will be motivated to develop more video for you. I made this YouTube channel for knowledge and information sharing of Middle East stock market and business development of this area. Based on your comments and like, I will develop more video for your interest. Hence, please comments and like my video. UEZ -E secures DHS 366M loan for green projects. The loan will be used to finance or refinance eligible sustainable development projects covering a range of areas, including renewable energy. December 6, 2023. Emirates Telecommunications Group, E Group, has secured a sustainable loan of $100 million. DHS 366M, as part of the telecoms giant's measures to finance sustainable projects that have a positive, real-time impact on communities. The sustainable loan will be used to finance or refinance eligible sustainable development projects covering a range of areas, particularly renewable energy clean transport and energy efficiency. He said it will also facilitate future funding of additional projects with a focus on sustainable development, including sustainable water supply, waste management, green buildings and pollution prevention. The company's sustainable finance framework supports environmental, social and governance ESG strategy. It aims to catalyze change by issuing a range of sustainable finance instruments including green, social and sustainability bonds, loans, following E-Group's ambitious climate commitments at COP28 to achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2040 in our operations across all markets. The signing of our first green loan is a landmark moment for the company, said Hatem Dawidar, Group CEO. With this financing, we are not only reinforcing our commitment to a zero carbon future but also driving sustainable innovation in the technology landscape across all our markets. He said its finance framework goes beyond being a mere financial instrument by creating a strategic method for cultivating a sustainable future. It reflects the group's commitment to the UE's vision and worldwide endeavors to combat climate change. Earlier in December, the company announced plans to achieve net zero carbon emissions across its operations in all markets by 2040. It unveiled near-term targets of a group-wide reduction of 43% from its activities and the energy it purchases and uses, scope 1 and 2 emissions, by 2030. He also pledged a 25% reduction of scope 3 emissions including its supply chain and investments. ES growth strategy meanwhile, he reported a 20% year-on-year increase in Q3 2023 net profit to DHS 3BN compared to DHS 2.5BN a year earlier, driven by growth in revenue and an increase in subscriber base. The group's revenues in the three months to September 30th reached DHS 13.4BN a 3% increase compared to the same period last year while the company's subscriber base reached 167 million during the period under review, representing a increase of 3% in Q3 2023. The telecoms giant said revenues from its UE operations surged by 5.8% to DHS 8.2BN driven by the ongoing growth in business activity in the country supported by population growth and robust overall economic growth. ES Mobile Division posted a 2.6% increase in revenue to DHS 2.9BN, driven by the increase in subscribers and growth in outbound roaming services. If you like this video click on like button and if you have any comments provide in comments box. If you still not subscribed channel, please subscribe. Also click on bell icon so that you will my video notification immediately.